Hey everyone, this is Becky Lander, one of your leaders with Usborne Books and More, and also with MyConsultantTraining.com. I am going to give you a quick overview of a new tool that I am enjoying very much. This is called Visly. So some of you have probably used Post to My Party or Scentshare or other scheduling tools to batch all of your Facebook posts for a given party or your VIP group ahead of time. So Visly is a new way to do it. It allows two free events that you can track each month uh, without paying their membership fee. And then after that, it's $10 a month, which is really reasonable and competitive with a lot of the other tools out there that are similar to this. So let me just give you a quick rundown of what this looks like. So here on the left, you have a navigation panel of the different activities that you have going on. Um, so this is what we have going on on Facebook. We have events, groups, pages, and also your news feed. So you can see these are the events that I've tracked. So what tracked means is that I am using Visly to import posts to these particular events. So these are some of the tracked events that I've done in the past. And then there's also a section here on my upcoming events that I have as well. And I can determine if I want to track those and schedule posts. So I will do that. For example, for Jeff Hughes party, which is coming up next week, I am going to track the posts on that and it will become available here at the top for me to schedule my posts. You can see it's the red, meaning that I do not have any posts scheduled. That, that function is not enabled yet, but we're going to go ahead and do that now. So also over here on the left, you have your groups. So I have a couple different groups. I have my Becky's Book Corner business group um, for my customers. And then I also have my Book Happy group for my team. Um, all the other groups that I'm in here, if I wanted to go ahead and track any of those groups. I also have my pages. So I have my Becky's Book Corner group, a handful of other pages that I manage as well. And then here's my feed. This is if I was going to post something directly to my news feed. Visly also has the ability to do email campaigns. I'm not going to get into that here in this training, but that is another option that is available with Visly. So let's go back over to our events. That is an area that you'll probably spend the most time in. We're going ahead and we're tracking Jesse's events. So I've already created this event in Facebook. I've already uploaded my cover photo. And now what I can do is I can add a new post. So if I wanted to create a brand new post for this um, that I've never done before, that might be really specific to how I know Jesse, I could do that here. Um, you can put a title, which is just for your internal reference. We'll just call this example. You can put when you're scheduling it, we'll just say um, at her party on August 1st at 8.30. And then we can just say example post. This is where we would put your text um, about your uh, post right there. Then you can choose an attachment. So this is where you can select if you want an image to be displayed or if you want a video to be displayed. And here down below, you can kind of see these are some other videos that I've already uploaded into Visly that's available for me. Um, you could link to a Facebook album or you could just have a regular web link. So if you're linking to a YouTube video, this is where you would go ahead and do that. So that's an example of creating a brand new post. Um, one thing that I love about Visly, which is different than other tools out there, is that you can also use a template. So we'll go ahead and experiment with that. Let's click use a template. Um, it asks you which template you would like to import. So I have a handful of templates that I have created here. So I have a summer script. I have a back to school script that I've been working on. Um, I have a handful of other things that I can choose from. So let's just say we're going to go with that back to school party script and go ahead and load that template. So what it's asking you here is when should the template begin? So for this particular template, we want it to begin on August 1st at 8.30 when my party starts. So when we load that template, let's go ahead and do that real quick. It will show you when these different posts come through as it relates to the start time of my party, which is 
August 1st to 8.30. There's post number one, my welcome post. So everything else backs up to that in the template. So it's one day before, two days before, that sort of thing. So once you're in here and you have all your posts scheduled, you can go in and edit it if you want. So you can change your welcome post around. Of course, if you're using this template, you don't want a picture of my family and you want to have your name in here. So you can make edits here to that. You can change the time if you need to. You could always swap out the image or the video, anything you need to do here, add new images, pull from the ones here in your gallery that you've already uploaded to Visly. So all of those posts are currently scheduled. When you are happy with the posts, that you've created, the one last thing that you need to do is change this to resume automated post. So this essentially turns it on and make sure that it posts to your group or to your event based on the times that you've specified below. Super cool, right? Um, so let's talk a little bit more about the templates. So when you head over here, Again, this is your navigation. We've already talked about the different activities that you have available for you. You have planning. So there are Facebook templates. You can create folders. You can organize it. Right now, mine's not very organized. These are all the different templates that I use. And then you can always um, import a new template. So anytime you create your own template or your team leader or somebody else on the team creates a, a template, it will generate a code for you. So let's say that I am going to do the next books and biz and I want to use the same template that Jen used the last time we ran the event. You just enter the template code right here. You search for it and it says this is books and biz July 2017 that Jen created. Um, it gives you a nice little warning here saying, you know, don't be cookie cutter and copy and paste. You're going to get blocked by Facebook if you do that. Um, so you're going to go ahead and import that now. And I think that just really speaks to the point that even though these are templates, you need to customize this and you need to make it your own. So consider it a starting point and build from there. Make sure it's in your own voice and you feel really authentic about it. So now that I've imported that, I have my books and biz July 2017 right here. And it shows here are the posts that are going to come one day before, uh, 11 hours before, one hour before, 15 minutes before. So it's laid out really, really nicely here in the template. And now that I've imported that template, if I have a new event that I'm tracking, I can just use that template and have all my posts there that I can just customize. So that is a quick overview. One other thing that I will mention that I really like is that here on, let me see, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to bounce back over here actually. So let's go back to um, an event that I'm tracking. So I know for like Danielle's party, I have one additional field in here. I have text replacement. So this is awesome. So I am notorious for posting a post in a new party that includes an old hostess's name or dates that aren't valid. I swear that I read through it every time and then I go back and I realize that there are things that were missing. So there are text replacements in my summer template where you will just insert date one, date two, date three to book a party, your hostess's first name, the shopping link, and anywhere throughout my script, there will be text replacements that pull from that on my template. So you can see here, let's see my booking, my booking post. It says my next three available dates are, and it lists those three, and it's pulling from the text replacements, which is very, very convenient if you're just going to tweak a couple things from one party to the next. This is great as the fall season approaches and you are going to be busy, busy. It's going to save you a ton of time. Um, and then one last area that's really nice too is that you can join a team. So there's a team page where you can share templates. So I have a couple people here, I should probably approve them, <laughs> to join our team. And once they've joined the team, they have access to the team templates. So if our team begins to start using Visly more, we will upload some of those templates here and you can access um, you can access information directly from the shared templates and the shared images. 
so that is just a very quick overview of Visly. Um, with anything, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but I do love the functionality of templates. I love the setup and the flow that you can create your post in relation to the start time of the event. And it is working really well for my business and hope that it will work well for yours. So I've included a link below if you want to give it a try. Like I said, you can do two events a month for free. And then I also have a referral code um, if you want to use it for longer than that or if you have more going on than just two events a month and you fall in love with Visly just like I have. So again, hope that's helpful. Hope you're having a great day and I look forward to chatting with you soon. Feel free to drop a comment below if you have questions. Thanks.